What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this Outlaws Merriment token deck. Uh, we didn't have the best of luck uh, in video one. We got one win, two losses, but uh, I'm really excited to jump into this one. I love Outlaws Merriment. I love the synergy of this deck. We kind of got to see it do its thing in game two of the last video. Uh, so if you didn't check that out, I highly suggest you do so. But uh, it's a really fun deck. It's very, very fun. I love kind of silly decks like this where you just get to do, you know, off the wall kinds of things. So I'm into it. Let's go ahead and play a speaker and kick things off. Uh, also, uh, I mentioned it in the first video as well, but we did do our, uh, our finally our box opening of, um, uh, let's do Bertha Miletus here. We finally got our box opening of Double Masters in. Uh, and so I was really, really excited to be opening that up. I'm actually gonna attack here. Uh, didn't think they would block, but just on the off chance, uh, be a free trade, kind of, because this is, while good, not really our focus, um, and so I was more than happy to, to trade that off, but that's fine. A Yadaro. Yeah, that makes sense. I like Yadaro. Uh, no. Very cool, though. Love that. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get a red land, so we're kind of stuck into playing another speaker here. Would have been nice to have gotten the Chandra going, to be honest, but it is what it is. Uh, we now have a kind of free blocker here, and then next turn we actually get to drop Archon if we would like. What is this deck? This is a very interesting deck, I'm just going to say. Um, not Don't hate it, it's just very different. Um, let's go ahead and play Archon, and we'll pass here. This is very interesting. Has Trample and Haste. This is like... A very good limited card, but I don't necessarily think a very good uh, constructed card. It seems like this deck is trying to do a lot of different stuff. I mean, it's all based around cycling, and like Dreadhorde Arcanist being in here is something, I guess. I don't know. That's just kind of interesting. Um, do we block? I'll block. Um, save us most of the damage here. The, the zero 4 isn't doing a ton anyway, so like that's fine. Let's do this. Let's play this. Now we get a 4-4 Angel, uh, which is great. And we get to attack in. I am going to be aggressive with the Archon here. Uh, it not only gains us life, which kind of mitigates a lot of what they're doing, but um, it's just a really strong card, so I am going to try and attack in with it as much as possible. Perfect. All right, let's do this. Put that on the bottom. Don't super need that. Um... Let's do this. We're gonna get three angels out of this and two life. <laughs> Seems pretty good. Uh, and then we'll attack in. And now we can actually, well, we'll wait, I suppose, but we can actually just activate this ability. Oh, we can only do it as a sorcery. Oh. Then I was actually correct in video one. Um, I did this as a sorcery and we were technically supposed to. So that was a bit of a mistake, but that's fine. That is fine. They get to shoot these down, though. So, bit of a wasted effort there, but that's fine. Um, I'm more than happy to trade off some angels here, by the way. Uh, does not matter tremendously much to me. They hit the Divine Visitation? Okay. That might change things. I'm not 100% sure. Kill this. That was a very aggressive attack, is what I will say. Um... That was interesting. That was a weird game. We learned. We learned a thing. Speaker of the Heavens definitely has to be sorcery speed. That was a mistake, technically. So, we will look to avoid that in the near future. But, regardless, still really liking this deck. I think it's so fun. Oh, it's so fun. When it works. That's the key. But uh, I really hope you guys have had a fantastic week this week. I know it's kind of rounding out. It has been tremendously busy. I mentioned, I think in the Monday gameplay videos, how busy this week was going to be for me. And I'm very fortunate that we've been able to get videos up every single day. Um, been a little stressful sometimes, but we're getting there. Um, let's see, let's see. I think we put Dawn of Hope back. I really like Dawn of Hope, um, but I just don't think it's going to be doing quite enough here. And maybe that's wrong. Maybe the bishop should have gone back. I don't know. The bishop is just so good. Uh, with the right setup, obviously. But um, with boss Cat and the bishop, we might be able to get just some strong stuff out, which is good. Here, we're going to have to worry about Gem Razor. 100%. Um, 
That is our biggest issue, I believe, is going to be the Gem Razor. But that's fine. We'll do the best we can. All right. Uh, I'm going to let them commit a little bit more. Just get a counter on this uh, and we'll pass. This just means that we've got better blocks here. That's all. It's really not super helpful. But the Birth of Miletus is going to be nice next turn if we don't draw land. Um, and then eventually Shatter the Sky is just going to wreck them. And this is the great thing about Shatter the Sky in this deck is it just is fine to play. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, didn't get the land there. I am going to go ahead and do this then. That's the only thing we can do anyway. So let's do this. Let's get our land. Uh, play that sucker out. Uh, we also have the interaction of being able to make the creature indestructible and then playing Shatter, uh, which is really good. Um, but we'll see what we end up doing. We will see. We do need a second red source here pretty badly. That's good. Not great, though, to be honest. Three Shatters. Okay, we're about to get a four for one. That seems good. Seems very good. They do not have Heroic Intervention up. Worth noting. That has been a problem in my past. <laughs> There we go. Love it. Waste all those pelt collectors. I like it. Wow. Immediate give up. <laughs> I think that's such a good thing about this deck, though. Um, so because you're playing things that are very focused on creatures and tokens, that Shatter the Sky is not an expected card by any means. That never is something that the opponent tends to see coming. Uh, and so they do like to overcommit, which is amazing, because <laughs> it just means you get to then throw in a shatter and like blow them up, and it's like, yeah, well, we got there. Um, so it's a it's a really really sweet uh, build for that. So I love that. We're against coffee. I don't want to fight coffee. I love coffee. Um, eh, we'll try it. I don't love this hand. I'll be honest. That doesn't seem amazing, but we're gonna try it. Again, we have the Shatter, and it looks like it's going to be very helpful here. And the Omen, to be honest, if we make it that far. Um, we're definitely going to end up playing a land and then probably just flashing out Omen. Ooh, that's good. It's very good. Two uh, Fervent Champions, that's a, that's a struggle for sure. Um, but double shatter this guy is going to be real helpful here. <laughs> Alright, let's pass. About to omen this up. Uh, save ourselves some damage, and then we just get to shatter. Let him attack in. Yes. Do the thing. <clears throat> Gain a little bit of life. Block a lot of damage. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're blocking the most amount of damage because, again, we're planning to shatter. We could have kept this kill and, like, kind of baited them into maybe playing some more, but I, I think that's just their game plan anyway, so I'm not really worried about that. Okay. Robber is good. All right. Let's play this. Let's shatter. Nice little four for one there. Um, they do get Robber of the Rich out now, um, which is good because it's just another haster. But again, we've got a doubled up Shatter, so feeling okay about that. Ooh, they stole an Archon. Well, that's terrible. I don't like that. Um, but they get to light up the stage again here too. We've got a pretty solid hand here, no doubt. I get to play a Scorch Spitter too. Um... Speaker of the Heavens, huh? Let's do this. Do we take the opportunity to play Divine Visitation, hoping that they will commit more, or do we... Ri yeah, I think we'll do that. Let's try it. I think this is the best opportunity to get this down. Um, next turn, we can Shatter, then play Speaker, if we would like. Um, oof. Very, very good. 
very, very good. So now we're pretty much dead to just a good spell, <laughs> which is sad, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's do this. We're gonna shatter. Literally have to. Um, if we don't, we die. We kind of just have to hope they have bricks in hand, which chances are they don't. But we do get a speaker down as well, which is kind of nice. Oh, nice. That was very well done. They get to draw a card because of that. That's smart. All right, let's do this. Now, worth noting, we do have Castle Ardenvale to just start pumping out some of these tokens, um, which is very, very good. Is that enough to save us the game? Probably not, but we're going to try. One, two, three, four. So we can't quite do both of these. Uh, so we pass. Uh, we get to do this at instant speed, so that's fine. So now the worry is Embercleave, which if they've got it, they've got it. There's not much we can do. Yep. In which case they win. This was like one of the quicker videos for sure. Um, well done opponent. Embercleave is just so good. My goodness. All right. They got there. Um, we were okay. Like we were fairly close to being able to start stabilizing there. It was literally Embercleave or bust. Um, so I'm okay with that. They could have also had just a good burn spell. Um, there were options there, I'm sure, but overall we were ended we ended on a three and three So that's not terrible for a deck like this I think it's really really fun to play with cards like outlaws merriment, which are just such silly kind of build around cards um, Absolutely love these kinds of decks. It's not the best There's no doubt about that, but we kind of knew that going in right like we just get to take a card like outlaws merriment That's a little bit jank a little bit silly and try and build a nice little deck around it and I think taking the kind of lesser traveled route so to speak uh and doing something a little more focused on the divine visitation which has been done plenty of times don't get me wrong but right now the more popular deck at least from what i have been seeing is more of a jeskai control list uh which works really really well and i'd like to play with that but uh just thought i'd take a different route with it this time and, and try this out so i really like this hopefully you guys enjoyed this deck uh if you did please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below make sure to enter that double masters giveaway we've got it coming up on monday so just a few more days uh and we will announce that winner uh but thank you guys so much i really do appreciate the support lately and i will see you very soon for the next gameplay video